So a lot of you've been asking about how we can transition our routines for certain skin types. So I know for me personally, my routine changes quite a bit. I have oily skin type and also dehydrated, especially the fall and winter times. So I need to use more hydrating, inclusive ingredients. Nothing that will clog my pores. I have to be careful of my pores with oily skin. As a disclaimer, this is just my personal changes, my own routine. Hopefully it can help you guys as a guide to maybe how you can update and upgrade your routine for this upcoming fall and winter season. You don't need to use these specific products, but I'll just explain why I personally put them in my routine, what ingredients and benefits they have that you could probably find in other products as well. Let's get into it. Definitely during my nighttime routine when I do my first part of double cleansing. What I use is I use a balm cleanser, cleansing balm, that's the word for it, which is the fig cleansing balm from I'm From. Personally, I'm more of a fan of balms than oils and I don't feel any oiliness after I wash it all off. There's no residue or anything left behind. Sometimes it gets in my eyes, but that's different. And it removes my makeup and the sunscreen, all the dirt throughout the day. It helps really get all that out and make a nice step before my water-based cleanser. And you probably already know what my cleanser is going to be. Ta-da! <laughs> this one didn't change. This is still my Be Plain Greenful pH Balance Cleansing Foam. This one, I just can't stop buying it because I really love it so much. It's very gentle, it's not stripping or anything like that. It has like little particles in it, so it also helps to gently exfoliate. I feel like even summer, winter, fall, I can use this and not really have any problem. And it just feels so nice. Next up, I just started using this and I really, really, really love it. It's the Honey Mask from I'm From. Okay, I was a little bit skeptical at first because honey, to me, means sticky. This is not sticky at all. If anything, it just smells so good I wanted to eat it. But when I washed it off, my skin felt so soft. I thought maybe it would be too much for my oily skin, but it was really, really good. You need to believe me. <laughs> Honey is a really good humectant. It really does help hydrate your skin. I was just always so skeptical. I'm like, honey, it's gonna make my skin all like clogged with stickiness. But actually, this one does not do that at all. It's very nice and I use it twice a week. Next up is my toner and it is the Purim pH Balance Calming Toner. Before I was using one that was a little bit more lightweight, but I realized that since it's getting more dry and cold, my skin needs that extra step of hydration. So I thought adding a hydrating toner would be really beneficial. But of course, I don't want one that's like too heavy. So this one is like a nice milky, slightly viscous type of texture. I think actually it's very good for like layering. So skin layer method. I think you can totally do it with this one. I usually put more than just one because I just love how my face feel. So I really like this one. It has ceramides in it, which of course I am a sucker for because ceramides are perfect for the cold seasons. It has a lot of good hydrating ingredients. Helps restore my barrier a bit. I like this one. Sometimes I just like rotate between different types of serums. Depending on my skin need and what night I use my retinol, what night I need more hydration, I have these two. <laughs> I decorated this one already. So I have the Vita B3 source from TN. And then I have the Revecting Clean Forever Young Biome Ampoule. I use this one usually in the morning as well. It has alpha arbutine and it has 10% niacinamide. It's not irritating for my skin. It's actually like the perfect amount and it helps to brighten my acne scars and everything. So I really like using this one. And then for this one, it has a little bit more of a body to it. Like I'm sure you can probably see it's a little bit more gooey looking. It's not sticky, but it's a little bit gooey. I like to use this one when I feel like I just need a little bit more moisture barrier. I like to rotate between these two. Next one is something I still keep, whether it's summer, winter, fall, I use the Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream from Cosrx. I like this one because it's light, but it still provides enough hydration that I can use it for any season. I don't feel like my eyes are suffocated. They're just perfectly balanced. And as you all might know, Snail has a lot of really beneficial properties. You can check our video if you want to learn more about that because I go into detail about why I love snail mucin. And next is my moisturizer. I don't know if I should talk about this, but I'm going to anyway. So it's kind of weird, but I switched them. Even though it's a bit lighter, you would think I would use this in the daytime. I actually use this at night because <laughs> this is a balm. I would use this at night. I use it in the day. Huh? 
Because throughout the day, you're constantly bombarded by environments either really hot, the heating system, and really dry. So the mask itself, my skin gets dried out much quicker than if I'm just laying in my bed sleeping. The Authentic Barrier Cream Balm. I was scared about using a balm because I thought it would make my skin break out because I have sensitive skin, but also clogging my pores. But I felt like I really needed the hydration, so I gave it a try and I'm glad I did. It really gives me the moisture without making me feel greasy, oily, and like weighed down. It just gives me what I need to make it through the day. And so at night, I use the Dear Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. Really good for calming and soothing. After I use my retinol, it's definitely good to have this to kind of tone things down. And a lot of times in the morning, I will usually wake up with oily skin. So that's why I try to have a lighter moisturizer overnight so that I don't feel weighed down by it when I'm sleeping. And also you don't need to use balms on your whole face. A lot of the times I'll only use it on like very dry areas. I'm sure most oily skin people like myself don't have their whole face being oily all the time. There's some parts that are a little bit drier, some parts that are a bit oilier, like there's definitely the T-zone. So you can just apply this in the places that you think maybe you need it more. So you don't feel like you're adding more heavy oil and greasiness to already oily areas. Final step for my daytime routine, which everyone needs to have, is sunscreen. And this one is actually a new one from Isentry. It is the Hyaluronic Acid Natural Sun Cream. And the reason why I really like using this one for the winter time and fall time, it has a little bit more of that hydrating factor. So when I put it on, I don't feel like it dries my skin. It almost has a little bit of like a blurring effect. It just goes on very easily, it blends in very nice, and I just feel like I have an extra layer of hydration to last me through the day. And for those that maybe don't love a dewy look, just be cautioned, this will give you a dewy look. This is my routine for the winter and fall transition. Definitely doesn't mean that my routine is perfect because I'm still trying to figure it out and I always try to find new products that just suit my concerns best. So let us know what your routines are for this upcoming fall and winter. Do you have any new products you're excited to try or that you've already tried? See you in the next video. Bye!